recent National Security Advisor John Poindexter a note that said, you will recall that over the years, Manuel Noriega in Panama and I have developed a fairly good relationship. If US officials can help clean up his image and lift the ban on arms sales to the Panamanian Defense Forces, Noriega will take care of the Sandinista leadership for us. Could you elaborate on this conversation as Noriega is now in jail and the U.S. went to war against Noriega? I know hindsight is 2020, but... No, no, I, and I also wrote in an earlier Prof's message, reading from Prof's memo, one of the early forms of email, uh, I wrote that he's one of the most despicable people I've ever met. I mean, we also had in place, uh, and again, this is very sensitive, so I gotta be very careful. I put it, we had spies in place who reported on what he did, his involvement with drug trafficking, his involvement with money laundering, and his murders of his opponents. So when Noriega offers, through one of his intermediaries, to, quote, take care of the Nicaraguan leadership, that's euphemism. He was offering to kill him. And so I was sent to meet with him in London and recorded exactly what he said and brought it back, and people were like, I don't think we're gonna do this. But I carried out my orders and went and met with him, brought them back the information. There was the videotape off the camera, the hidden camera and the surveillance device, and they decided not to and use what it. Was, what was your impression in meeting with him in London? Well, I, I, as I said, he's one of the most despicable human beings I've ever met. I mean, and he is a vicious person. And when he was in power, I mean, he looks very sad and disheveled at this point, but he was a dictator. He ran the country, and he was an evil person. 